Hey, I'm Paul and welcome to PDF YouTube channel where you can learn PDF skills and of course learn some PDF solutions. When you send out a PDF file, a lot of these PDF files are sent out to multiple people on email and sometimes there might be some information inside those PDFs which you do not want to be seen by everybody that is going to receive it. For content inside that PDF, redaction is a really good option to use to hide some of the information that might be seen inside that PDF file. And of course, there are lots of different reasons why you might want to use redaction within a file. So for example, document security. So certain bits of data about the file may not be required for that target audience or information regarding the author or any other details which might be sensitive. And sometimes it's really easy to edit out the metadata with the right tools, which may lead to unauthorized tampering. Today's video though, will teach you how you can remove that metadata in PDF using PDF element for Windows and Mac. Firstly, you might have that question of what is metadata, so let's explain exactly what it is. Metadata in a PDF file includes information such as the title, author name, the date created, modification date, subject date and application which was used to create the PDF file and also in there you have the size of the PDF file, number of pages in that file and all the tags associated with the file. Essentially the metadata with a PDF file is every bit of information about that file since its creation. However, many people don't know how to access or remove their metadata from their PDF files, but these next steps will take you through a very simple process in how you can do exactly that using PDF element for Windows and then for Mac. First of all, if you haven't downloaded this software, then it might be an idea to do so. And you can do that by checking the description below where there will be a link that will send you to the PDF element download. When on a Mac, all you need to do is open the PDF element application and then you can drag and drop the PDF you want to use into the main screen here. Once this PDF is opened, all you need to do then is go to file and make sure you can find properties. Inside properties, you can see different options such as author, title, subject, and keywords. In here, you can choose to add or remove anything that you might need. So if you select one of the field options here, you can either type in an option that you might want to use, or you can delete the option that you might not want people to see when they're given this PDF document. Once you've taken out the information or added the information in that you need, all you have to do is click the X. Then you can close the page and a pop-up will appear asking you to save or discard the information that has been done. If you click save, then all of those changes to that metadata will be saved on that PDF document. And that is it for the Mac version. It is really nice and simple and doesn't take long to do at all. But what if you're using a PC on Windows? Well, let me show you exactly how you can do that as well. When you're using a PC, you first of all need to open up the PDF element application. Then on a Windows version, you have to navigate to the folder where your PDF document that you want to use is saved. After this, and it's open in PDF element, you need to go to file and then scroll down to where you can see properties and then just select the properties tab. Inside here, you will see options very similar to that that we saw on the Mac version. Title, subject, keywords, and again, author. Inside here, you can go and add or take out any of the information that you don't want people to see or that you might want people to see. So for example, you can create your own title or you can remove it. The subject can be absolutely anything you want it to be, so you can type that in here. And of course, if you don't want it, you can just delete it. And when you come down to the author, that is up to you what is in here. You can keep it as you want to, or you can change it to a different name. And if you want to, you can delete that 
all together. And you can do this by deleting that information. Once you've made your changes to this PDF document, what you need to do then is just click apply in the bottom right corner for all your changes to be saved here on the PDF document that you are using within PDF Elements. Today's video was a really good example of how you can protect yourself and your key sensitive information inside PDF documents. If you want to know more solutions, you can also search our channel about Redact PDF or Protect PDF. And these sorts of videos hopefully will help you in what you're looking for. If you found this video useful, then of course, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. But also, why not subscribe to the channel as well so you don't miss out on any of the videos that we have coming up. And if you do all of that, we will see you in the next video.